I found some people to interview about Temptation. That's what we're talking about this week. Temptation number two. So I first person I found was a businessman. Let's check it out. Hmm. Temptation. Are there many different ways you can categorize Temptation into? Let's see. Well, the first class, of course, would be the obvious one of murder. Okay? You have to murder somebody. And that, of course, is the hardcore class one. Oh, hold, hold on, hold on. Hold that thought. Hello? No, not now. No. Get off the phone! Sorry, I had to come. Where was I? Oh, yes. So, first of all, and then there's the second class temptation, and where you attempted to eat a candy bar, or perhaps that favorite herbal tea you've been craving for so long. But I think temptation can be categorized into two classes. And I myself, I haven't had much temptations. Except probably the second class is in the candy bar. Shut up, bird. That is all I have to say. Thank you very much. Uh Temptation? What? What's temptation? I don't know. Being tempted to do something wrong? Whatever. Well now, temptation. Hmm. That's a lot to think about. That makes your brain all cramy inside. I, I basically think that temptation is, you know, doing something wrong, but you know that it's right at the time. I mean, you think it's right at the time, but then it's, it's, it's wrong. You see what I'm saying? Because I was raised back in the day when them preachers preached at them churches, and they had those, uh, whatever, whatchamacallits, anyways, yeah. But I, I think that there's, you know, uh, temptation is temptation. And once you give into it, it's wrong. I mean, I don't think being tempted is wrong, but I think giving in it is wrong. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's my insight, I think. Well, there are many different ways to categorize temptation. But one of the ways I would categorize it is if you have a Bible, to look up in James, where it says, To him who knows to do good, and does not do it. To him it is sin. And that's what I believe temptation is. Being tempted is not wrong, but yielding to temptation is wrong, you see? In my recent studies, in my detective findings, they have found that many people are tempted, and they yield to them temptation. But I have not, because I am a smart man, you'll see. So, one of the ways you cannot be yielding into temptation is to ask God for help, and he will help you, you see. Because I believe we all have it in us to do right. We were not created to do wrong. Though we were born in sin, Adam and Eve were sinless until the serpent came and tempted them. That is where the whole problem started. And that is what I found in most of my archaeological studies of the Bible. So, you must do right. Period. Thank you. There are many different ways to be tempted. And I don't know. I could be tempted to lift this weight, but I already care. <laughs> but I think temptation is just doing. Something wrong? I'm 
Claiming it's right. That's what I think. Uh, uh, <laughs> a little heavy. Uh, but I got it. So, I don't know. Temptation is temptation. Actors, people, Mr. Brian. Simi Mahal. This actually isn't a real gun. 